everybody, it's Elena from Power for Parkinson's and we're here today to energize and exercise. So I'm really glad you're here. What we're gonna do today is some full body exercises to get the blood flowing, get the energy flowing and build some movement into our day. So I'm really glad you're here. I want us to get started with just one deep breath today. I find that when I kind of start my workout with one deep breath, it helps me differentiate between my different parts of my day instead of just kind of blowing through it. So giving ourselves a chance to arrive and be present for these next 10 or so minutes. Let's scoot to the front edge of our chair, plant our feet, sit up tall, and here comes our one breath together. Inhale, reach out, reach up, sit up tall. And as you exhale, reach out, reach down, and let something go. Beautiful. Okay, here we are. Let me show you the first move. We'll just get right into it. We're gonna start with our hands like this, or I mean some variation of this that feels good to you, because we're gonna be lifting our knees. Now, I'm gonna lower mine a little bit lower than my shoulder, about chest level, and I'm gonna lift my knee up towards my palms. So join in if you haven't already. And as you start to lift your knees, I wanna make sure you keep your chest lifted, your core engaged, your spine long and soft. Nice work, okay, so that's the move, but let me show you how we're gonna spice it up. We're gonna do two like this, and then for the next two, we're gonna rotate our chest like this. So we'll go four at a time, and let's count together and try it out. One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, last one. Beautiful job, take a moment. And I want you to notice, or, or did you notice, when we added in the twist, started to feel some sensation in my side body, my obliques, my side core was helping us make that twist. And I also noticed that the outside of my hips kind of joined the party too. All right, so that's the first movement. We're practicing lifting our knees up high, using our strong abs to lift our knees and to keep our chest lifted. All right, let me show you the second movement. And I'm excited about this one because it's really focused on lengthening our muscles. So if you're in your head, you might be thinking, oh, this one sounds a little bit easier. What we're gonna do is open our arms up towards the side. And I'm actually gonna um, just change the way I'm facing so you can see my spine. Notice how when I start, I'm standing up, sitting up tall. And then when I open my arms back, I lift my chest, I lift my gaze a little. I kind of arch my back a bit, right? And then when I bring my hands forward to the center, notice how my back isn't rounding out, but just my upper back is kind of reaching forward, my chin's coming to my chest, okay? So this is what it looks like. You open your chest, gently arch your back, but not a lot, and then you reach forward, palms face down, crossing your arms, gently rounding your upper spine. You open, close, open, close, join in, and I want you to alternate which arm goes on top as you cross your arms in the middle. So a little bit of a cognitive pattern. And what we're doing here is lengthening our side body. This here is a big chest opener. I'm stretching my chest, stretching my shoulders, finding full range of motion, and then crossing the midline here so that I have an opportunity to work my brain out as well as stretch my upper back, my shoulders, and my side body. So again, really a lengthening, um, a lengthening and mobility stretch. So Go ahead and join in for a few more reps. I hope this feels good. Stretching out your spine can be so important, especially if you sit, if you sit at a desk or on a couch or in a car. All right, a few more. Let's open up and then bring our hands down to our palms or down to our lap. Nice job. Okay, those are our first two exercises. We're off to a great start. Let me show you our third exercise. We're gonna bring our hands up towards the sky. Right away, I want you to notice if you can reach your hands even higher. So if you reach up and you're here, find more full range of motion. Keep your core engaged, chin lifted. Whew. What we're gonna do is, let's start with our legs. Let's just start stepping your feet out. And honestly, my shoulders are already burning, so bring your arms down. Step your feet out one at a time. Now this is similar to that march we did where I really wanna make sure you lift your foot, but this time we're stepping out, tapping our heel on the ground, flexing our foot to practice ankle mobility. All right, now reach your arms back up and we're gonna to start to pull down. Opposite arm pulls down, then the leg that is stepping out. So as my left foot steps out, my right arm comes down and vice versa, okay? A few more here, multitasking, 
using opposite sides of the body, building our core strength, working on gait, finding full range of motion at the top, but that's not enough. Let me show you how we're gonna spice this up. Okay, that was the exercise. What we're gonna do is two on this side, two on the next side, and then we'll do singles, one and one, nice. All right, let's count from eight. Go eight, seven, switch, six, five, singles, four, three, two, one. Again, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your hands to your palms. Kind of lost my focus there and I almost lost it. There's a lot of thinking required in that pattern because like I said, before we even added in the doubles and the singles, there was already so much to think about. So adding in the pattern definitely kicked it up a notch and got our brain involved. Let me show you the fourth exercise, okay? So this next one, we're gonna end here and we're gonna bring our arms down and then back up. So let's just start with that. That's the first of two movements in this. We're gonna go down and up, down, and up. I'm gonna to turn to the side again so that you can see this from a different angle. This time I want you to notice that I don't arch my spine and round my spine. My spine is gonna stay long and strong the whole time. Notice how my arm stays mostly straight. I just have a slight bend in my elbow. So again, we're gonna start here and then we're gonna go down and up, down and up. When I come back here, I'm bringing my arm back. That's getting my tricep involved. We're building a lot of great strength here. But I really want you to think about this first movement being really fluid, being really fluid. Nice, okay, that's the first part. Now let me show you the second part. We're gonna do one fluid, I didn't know what to call these. Let's call them uh, half circles because you're kind of making a half circle. You're gonna go down up and then one arm does a narrow press and then the other. You go slow back, slow up, down, up, down, join in, back, up, down, up, down, up, back, up, down, up, down, two more, back, up, down, up, down, last one, back, up, down, up, down, up. Beautiful, bring your hands down into your lap. You might notice that that not only kind of helps your shoulders relax, I'm feeling burning in my shoulders, but it also helps me to catch my breath because anytime we lift our hands above our head, that helps us to increase our heart rate, get some cardiovascular exercise involved in the party. So just know that we're also getting some of that good stuff in here as well with all of these over the head movements. All right, y'all, let me remind you just really quick of these four movements, and then what we're gonna do is throw the music on, add it together, and move for about three minutes at a time. That first movement was the ab exercise, where we go one, two, rotate, three, four. One, two, rotate, three, four. Awesome, second move, you go out and in, out and in, one more, out and in, reach up, and here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, singles. Four, three, two, one. Last move, go back, up, down, up, down, up. Back, up, down, up. Nice job. All right, shake it out. Grab a sip of water, do whatever you need to do to set yourself up for success. We got one little push here. Let's go ahead and scoot to the edge of our chair. All right, y'all, as that music starts coming in, I want you to engage your core. Sit up tall and bring your hands about chest height. Let's go. All right, here we go. First move, count with me. One, two, three, four. Yes, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Really exaggerate that twist if it feels good to you. Nice. One, two, three, four. Two more. Three, 
four, one, two, three, four. Go out, in, out, in. Yes, breathe. Sit up tall, opening up your chest and crossing the midline at the front. Nice job, friends. All right, here comes that third movement. Reach your hands up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yes, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back, up, down. Here we go. Back, up, down, down. Back, up, down, down. Go back. Reach up, down, down. Yes. Ooh, starting to feel the burn in my triceps, in my shoulders. Let's do four more of these and then we'll go back to the top. Is the prerogative to have two more? Stay with me. Up, down, down, back, up, down, down. Hands come to your chest. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one. Two, use your abs. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one more. One, two, three, four. Open your chest up, and here we go. Open, close, open, close, open, close. Stretching out your spine, stretching out your chest, upper back. Nice, find full range of motion for me. Here comes that last move. Reach up, go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go back, up, down, down, back, up, down. One more, back, up, down, down. <sighs> Shake it out. Right away, notice if you're out of breath like me, notice if your heart rate is elevated or if you're warm, a little bit sweaty like me. Just, here, just stay here for a minute. Notice how you feel. Notice how it felt to move your body for 10 minutes to move to the beat of the music, to really exercise your upper body and your core. You did amazing, great job. I really want you to take a big sip of water and end this exercise with me just like we started it with one big breath. I really want to encourage you to keep rehydrating and also to stretch out your muscles if you have a few minutes today. All right, one breath to close out our time together. Here we go. Big inhale, reach out, reach up, sit up tall and exhale, reach out and down. Let something go. Nice job. Give yourself a round of applause, a pat on the back and come back and see us. All right, y'all. See you next time.